We're in Gemunden in Upper Austria on the Traunsee Lake to relate the history and also observe the production of the Frauscher Boatyard founded in 1927. This is the ancient Frauscher port. Sailing here is done only via electrical propulsion and it is said that the water is drinkable. Their boats here are docked on the water and indoors. Some are very old. My grandfather, Engelbert, he uh, was born actually not far away from, uh, from the place we are now building our boats. Um, he, was, uh, he was learning his, uh, or he learned his business on a small lake very close to here on Lake Wolfgang. And uh, um, after his uh, training here, he didn't find a job in this area. And so he moved to uh, Vienna, where he founded his first small shipyard in 1927. There he was also a very famous boat builder for small wooden uh, sailing and power boats. For example, his uh, sailing boats were used at the Olympic Games in 1936. So at this age, uh, he was also a, a hidden star, but his, uh, his small uh, shipyard was pumped out then in the Second World War. And uh, as his um, shipyard was in this Russian section in Vienna, uh, he decided to come back to uh, his home country in Upper Austria. And there he founded again in 1945 his, uh, his second shipyard. Uh, and uh, actually we are still uh, on the same place where, where he restarted it. That's in Gmunden uh, on the Lake Traunsee, we call it where we have now uh, a nice harbour. During the, the years then we had to change a little bit and we are now in our new shipyard, which we have built just five years ago. Over the course of the years, the models grew little by little in size but continue to be produced in their territory of origin. These are precisely the production premises. Let us go and see how they are built. This is where all the company's activities take place, from construction to sales, to support up to the final inspection. Uh, a brand uh, is the core of, of every business. And since 90, more than 90 years, uh, we are doing the, the same, we have the same approach. My grandfather wanted to build perfect boats for special people, and uh, so did my father and my auntie, and so we are doing. And this is creating the brand. Then, special design. Uh, we like the design, we like the innovation. We want to build the highest quality possible and then our company has a big family spirit which is including our clients, our workers and of course also our suppliers. And this is a big part of the success. The other hand is of course that we go to the places where our clients are. Uh, my friend and partner Mauro Feltrinelli on Lago di Garda He's almost like a brother. They produce electrical propulsion watercraft from 6 to 7.5 metres and from 7.5 to 14 metres with diesel or petrol engines. Before we moved into this new shipyard some years ago, we did a three years training with Porsche uh, to be able to produce the boats in a very quick and efficient way uh, and of course with higher quality and bigger profit. 
uh, and this uh, they call lean production, and this changed the, the whole production system. It's much easier for us now to be creative, to be innovative, and to use our space, what we have here, in, in, the, in the best way. The production is industrial, but at the same time handcrafted, since Frauscher wants to set itself apart, not just with regard to design, but also its high quality finishes. Most customers actually visit the shipyard before and usually during their boat is built and have a look at the building process and also design with our engineering team the different details of the boat. Each craft receives a work team who is responsible for entirely staging, looking after every detail up to its finishing touch and then taking it to the test basin. The installations are assembled at OpenCraft, which means the installations is simpler and better managed. The crafts are kept resting on the ground and in order to work on the bottom, there is access to the cavity. This finishing with putty and subsequent painting, in this case even metallic, yields an excellent aesthetic outcome. They were precursors. Consider that in 1954 they were already producing an electrical propulsion boat. The craft at the time was in wood. In Frauscher's history, the sailboats too. Then, more recently, in the 2000s, their new models were equipped not only with petrol and diesel propulsions, but also electric engines with hybrid propulsions and even ones running on hydrogen. We have a huge tradition in building electric boats. Um, this comes because uh, on our lake, uh, the government uh, stopped uh, the, the power boating, especially in July and in August, August in the 1950s. So the first electric boats Frauscher was building was really in 1954. And since then we have built about uh, 3,000 electric boats in our, in our shipyard. This is an electrical propulsion model. The lightness of the craft is preferred over its stability, since the speeds are reduced. We think that electric boats are getting more and more interesting and uh, there will be a point in the future where even for clients on the sea or on bigger lakes, uh, the electric boat will be an option. On the electrical propulsion boats, the fuel tank is replaced by the battery pack, in this case of advanced automobile technology. Obviously, Frauscher tries to use the most advanced uh, battery technology available for their boats. And at the moment, uh, in partnership with Torquedo and BMW, we use the battery uh, from the BMW i3 uh, to power our electric boats. Just as they built this success, I believe much depends on their style and also on the possibility of customising the products, that is building them according to the owner's preference, but even in very specific colours. One of the key points why our uh, clients buy a Frauscher is also the design of our boats. Um, for us it is very important uh, to have a, um, a very smooth, cool line. Uh, so we don't like to have a lot of she she on the boat. So the line must speak for itself. And uh, additionally we want to, to be a, give a very modern look. 
but having also uh, this heritage uh, which uh, you are used maybe from, uh, from the old hacker crafts or so, also in the boat. So not building just crazy modern boats, we think uh, uh, we can combine um, uh, this heritage, this tradition with the absolutely modern hull and modern design. The Frauscher 1414 Demon was a great and unexpected success for us uh, to sell uh, now 25 boats in just over two years uh, was not expected even, even in our keenest dreams. Uh, but we think that the boat is quite unique in the market. It has a lot of space in the interior, but still keeps a very sporty and low profile. And it also still drives like a sports boat. The moulds are realised in northern Italy, whereas the rest of the parts are produced by companies in the area. They sanded it to perfection. It's smooth just like a baby's skin. And now we'll take it to the painting booth. Have you ever been to a place where you cannot see your shadow? This is the painting booth. This is where the boat's construction ends, in the test basin, where all the installations are tested before the shipment. The main business at the moment is the power boat business, and uh, we, are, we are building about 80 boats a year and uh, especially for the market in, uh, in Middle and in South uh, Europe. But uh, sometimes we also sell boats to Australia, to China, to, uh, uh, to the Arabian market, and in the last two years, uh, especially also to the United States. In recent years, the company's sales volume has grown considerably, thanks to the larger models. Frauscher realized the 14.4 Demon flagship which is interesting under every aspect, from the interior's cover to its sailing abilities. It could be stated that, over time, we witnessed a progressive transformation of the boatyard and of its products, from its motorboats for internal waters to its large motorboats, even for the deep-sea sailing. Obviously, uh, and that is a joke many of our clients and dealers make a lot, is Frauscher is a company from Austria, and Austria isn't part of the sea, so uh, we need to give our clients the possibility to try our boats, uh, not only on the lake, but also on bigger uh, lakes and also on the sea, of course. And that's why we offer the possibility to try the whole range of our power boats, uh, not only on Lago di Garda, but also uh, in uh, Mallorca, uh, where we have our own test center, and in the future, even in Saint-Tropez, where we'll open a second one. Uh, you know, there is not the, the perfect boat on the world, it's just the perfect boat for the right uh, location. And so some of our clients, they have a small electric boat on one of our lakes, and additionally uh, a power boat maybe in, in Italy or in uh, France or, uh, or in Mallorca. Uh, so uh, um, uh, there is really space for more than one Frauscher boat in, uh, for one owner. <laughs> We have seen Frauscher, a boatyard which originated in the Austrian mountains of 1927 and that has become today an internationally renowned brand for its elegance, style and quality of its motorboats. Every boat which is carrying my name uh, will be 
uh, treated and serviced as good as possible because I'm so proud of it. Building boats in your, uh, in your home area uh, on a such nice place like that with uh, enthusiastic boat builders as well, I guess and I know I have one of the best jobs in the world and I appreciate it every day.